Hello world, I am Ashok Kumar. Welcome to Android ABCD. In this episode, let's understand how to write MVP architecture and how easy it is to test your MVP based application. Testing is one area that is really creating a big buzz. Learning this is an amazing thing. Please do watch this entire video and you'll be able to grab a lot of information about MVP and testing. So what is MVP and why MVP? So the MVP is a pattern that separates data model from view through a presenter. This architecture improves the testability of the application. So let's get started on creating a simple and very comprehensive uh, MVP example. So I'm going to call this project as MVP example. So instead of having all this tagger and higher level libraries, I'm going to create a very simple comprehensive uh, MVP example. So we're going to create a model view and presenter package once the project is successfully synced with the Gradle. So let's get started on creating the project uh, package. So create a project call, package called model view and presenter. So in view, I'm gonna consider a simple sign in use case. So I'm calling this as sign in view. So in sign in, we will have uh, three basic uh, validation issues and uh, sign in success and sign in error. So these are the basic three functions that is necessary for a simple sign in operations. So let me uh, have my version control system git uh, up and running so that you guys can see the same code through my github profile. So I'm going to create a presenter called sign in presenter. And here I'm going to write one method called sign in. And I'm going to pass username and password as simple as it sounds. So in the model, so I'm going to have to write a method called sign in presenter implementation or which is data model basically so and that has to implement uh, the presenter interface so i'm going to call uh, sign in view in the global instance and having a constructor as a sign in view as a parameter and then in the sign in method when we implement the sign in presenter we'll have to implement the override method of sign in presenter interface so in the uh, sign in interface i'm going to check whether the username is empty and i'm going to pass two data basically here we can connect our realm or sqlite or any rest adapter or anything that fetches the data so using this so we're going to evaluate everything in model so this is actually separating the total business logic of the entire application so so sign in you don't have to have an activity to, to work and test with so you using this way so it is more easier to test and it's more easy to maintain the code and the coming continuous episode of the same project will show how to uh, test the project and what are the test cases that we could consider in uh, writing MVP based applications. So I'm going to show how to do a UI test and Java unit test using Makido or JUnit framework. Let's see what suits more better. Now I'm compiling this program. In main activity, I have implemented sign view. So I have three callbacks, so which is sign in failure and uh, show validation error sign in success sign in error so, so now it is invalid credential so if i pass the same data that i have passed in my model i'll be able to get sign in success now we have learned mvp so let's learn how to test the mvp application in next episode as i said mvp is real fun and testing is necessary thank you for watching please do like my videos and do subscribe to my channel 
Thank you.